Hi everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm Nathan. Welcome back to another Second Breakfast and Afternoon Tea. It has been forever since we did yes, one of these. Yes, it has, it has. There have been a lot of life things, all that. We have wanted to get to this so bad. We had this box sitting around from our dear friend Jillian in mm -hmm. the UK. So yeah, like Haley said, a lot of life things. We've been doing the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair, so you can always see our vlogs from that up here. Yes. We got a huge box from Jillian. Very big. And in that were these cakes and biscuits, and we thought, why not just do a cake and biscuit video? So yeah. that's what we're doing. Yeah, she said that certain things are either good for dunking in tea or just really good at accompanying tea. So we thought, yeah, that, that seemed like a video in itself. Um, yeah. So we'll get to her other stuff that's in the rest of the box in probably a couple more videos yeah, actually. Yeah, at least two more videos. Yeah, but we wanted to put this all together. This seems really fun and it's a little different than what we normally do. Yeah, so stick around and we'll get into these biscuits and cakes in just a moment. All right, so we're gonna start off with the ones in the front. These are the ones that accompany tea, at least according to what Jillian was telling us. So we are going to start off with Mr. Kipling. This is six Viennese worlds. They're always exceedingly good cakes. <laughs> always exceedingly good, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, we actually had tried a Mr. Kipling unicorn cake yeah, recently. Yeah, one of those little like mini, it was really cool. Um, this is raspberry jam inside. So I don't know if they come in different flavors, but um, this one is raspberry. <laughs> so, all right. You each They're one. They're adorable. I can see a little inside there. There's the jam. Do you want to split them? Yeah, let's just split. Do you I guess you wanna... we'll just crack it. Oh my. Ooh, it's soft. It is pretty soft. It's fun seeing if it's soft or if it's hard. <laughs> that's the, that's like the best thing about splitting yeah. the stuff like we do because you can really see the texture before we yeah. bite into it. Definitely. It's very flaky looking. Yeah, and did you get both in there? Because there's yes. not just the raspberry jam, there's also like a cream filling. So I have yeah. like a good bit of half and half right there. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh mm. man. Very soft. Mm-hmm. That Look raspberry that. Wow. is really good. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get out. That was that is so good. I think I'm gonna save some room. That was great. I ate my whole half because that was delicious. All right, all right, we have to accompany it with tea. We have our Yorkshire tea. Which is still very hot. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was good. Let's rate that. All right. Hmm. Mm. So if this is the first video of ours that you're watching, we use purple scorecards for ratings and uh, we show you them. So yeah. three, two, one. I did a nine. I did 10. The raspberry jam just sent it over the top for me. It was really good. It's just not the top for me. Yeah. Just how it is. Yep. Once you start tasting all the stuff we've been tasting so far, which is very little compared to some other people on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's either easier or harder to rate. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Cause it might be harder to rate as time goes by because it's like you almost start rating things against other things that you love. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. All right, All right. let's try the Jaffa cakes. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so it's number one, the All Rounder. So it's a blend of dark crackly chocolate, light sponge, and the smashing orangey bit. That sounds cool. I didn't right. know there was like orange flavoring in it. I'm excited for that. Ooh, look at these. Yeah. That's cool. That's really tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely having my own. Yeah. I love the stripes on the chocolate there. Yeah. And you can see it's like raised, oh. so I wonder if that's where the orangey bit the is. Orangey bit. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Ooh, it's soft. <laughs> I thought it was hard and I'm squeezing it and it, my finger's going into it. Okay. Well, are you <laughs> ready? Yes. Got to make sure to get that orangey bit. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. So it's like a jam, mm -hmm. kind of. Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's very orangey. It's really good. I it love the good. flavor. It's a really cool flavor. It's like, it's tart to me. Um, I'm not always a fan of like orange flavored things, like with chocolate, um, but the makeup of all of it, it is very good. I think I really like the cake part the best. I love yeah. the flavor, especially because I'm putting that part on my tongue. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor I get at first and then how the orange and the chocolate follows it up. Yeah, that's neat. Wow, that is not 
common at all anything like this around here. No, not at all. Not that we've come across anyway. And it was refreshing. I love the almost the orange aftertaste. It's very refreshing. Yeah. Yes, gotta try your tea. That one goes really good with tea. It does. Oh, I like that. It Ooh. almost cuts the strong orange flavor. Yeah. Enough to where it's like yeah. really like soothing of an orange flavor. But then it also make the orange flavor itself also makes the tea taste better too, I think. It's almost like if you put a little bit of the orange flavoring in tea, <laughs> I feel like it would be like a nice like little burst of flavor. Yeah, yeah. I like that. All right, so let's rate that one. Three, two, one. It is seven. I did nine. Wow, I'm surprised you didn't go higher. Yeah, um, there was a little bit of like the flavor combo that oh. wasn't my favorite. I liked each part individually for what it is, but like the combination, I don't know. It's I your can... turn. <laughs> we're, we're so polite with each other, it's nice. <laughs> A good marriage is a giving marriage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is Tanooks. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Tea cakes, milk chocolate. There's six tea cakes in there. I'm really curious what this is gonna be like because just the shape of them is really cool. Yeah. It's like a little, I don't know. And the fact that they're- A little round cake thing. Yeah, the fact that they're wrapped in foil. Are we just yeah. Gonna... D yeah, let's split it. I'm not gonna be able to. I, I really have to pace myself on okay. this. Okay, so I love the vintage looking wrapping on this. At yeah. least it's vintage to me, maybe you. Oh yeah, I mean it seems like it. Even the yellow and the red on here, I don't know. It just, it looks very vintage. All right. Ooh. Oh, so that's <laughs> like a happy <laughs> accident. Yeah. Some of the chocolate actually like broke off. marshmallow. Girl. Yeah. Well, what is the description? It's a delicious biscuit base topped with marshmallow and covered with real milk chocolate. Yeah, that's okay. cool. So did the marshmallow like deflate over time? Or is that- To not hold the chocolate up. <laughs> yeah, or is that typical where there's that cavity in there? Yeah. Oh, this, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. Sorry, go. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below, and she's pretty sure she's gonna like this. <laughs> yeah. I'm like ready to go on this Yeah, one. yeah, go ahead. Wow. That's a really nice marshmallow. Yeah, because it's not a typical marshmallow that's in a snack, mm -hmm. where it's almost like more processed or something. Um, it feels very home whipped. Yeah, it's very whipped. Wow, it's like, it just like melts apart. I just scarfed that down. Oh my gosh, yeah you did. It was really good. <laughs> I like Not the, hard. I like the chocolate marshmallow and graham cracker. Tea time? Mm-hmm. Mm, that one's good with the tea too. Yeah. Cause there was still like a little chocolate flavor in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Maybe that's what it is. I like the combination of tea and chocolate. It's very good. Yeah. I'm becoming a very big tea lover because of this. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. This is like refined our knowledge and desire for tea, I think. Let's rate that. Um, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, ten. Eight. See, that's where it's like starts to go up for me. Yeah. Because that's stuff I really like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally understand. There was just something about the flavors of those other two things that sent a little higher for me. Yeah. Yeah. So good. this last Ooh. one is the McVitie's Family Circle. This is gonna be exciting. Yeah, so we're gonna be able to try a bunch of different biscuits. So these are the ones that we can actually dunk in the tea. So I'm really excited for that. I, yeah, I think this is gonna be fun because we yeah. never dunk things here. I mean, not never, we do sometimes, but yeah. Not regularly. <laughs> no, we've only dunked because you've told us to dunk. Yeah. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna pull the whole thing out. Ta-da! There we go. Such an unveiling. So I love on the back, they actually tell us exactly what's inside the box. So that's helpful. Yeah, we might need to look at it this way. Okay. Look, 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 I'm excited. I just said how chocolate and tea, I'm really loving the combo. And there's like they several. apparently get that. Yeah. <laughs> We're going around? Yeah. Wanna we'll start with the jam? Yeah, we'll sandwich? start with the jam. Jam sandwich creams. Okay. Which that. I feel like is gonna be similar to the Mr. Kipling. That, oh, there's only two in there. <laughs> all, oh, okay, that's so cute. I really like that. Yeah, I like how there's like even sugar sprinkled on the top. Shall we take a bite of it first before we dip yes. it in the tea? Yes. That's good. That's very nice. You do know how to do biscuits over there. Yes, agreed. 
Shall we? Yep. Hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I got the jam this time. But I mm -hmm. like how quickly the tea softens the biscuit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I need to pace myself, so I'm gonna I'm gonna not take another bite. That was great. That um, good. All right, so how are we rating this? Or what are we gonna do? Or do we wanna just at the end give our top like three? Let's do that. So we're gonna throw the scorecards out for this one. Yes. Sorry for those of you out there that really like the scorecards. So we'll give our top three at the end, and then I think we could do an overall rating of the entire package. Yeah, um, why not? So, okay. We make this up as we go. Yeah. It's more fun. Yeah, we like to be uh, spontaneous. Yeah. All right. <laughs> very, so. very planned spontaneity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chocolate chip cookie. This looks familiar. Yeah. It kind of looks like Famous Amos. Yes, totally. Yeah, it's just very nice, very chocolatey. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Definitely has a biscuit crunch. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Not overly sweet. Mm -mm. I think the chocolate chips are the only sweet things in that. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much I mean... where my tongue hit the chocolate chips, that was the only like sweetness I got. Uh -huh. Yeah, the biscuit by itself is more plain. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Go and dunk it. Yeah. Mmm. That's nice. Yeah, that one softens nicely too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys plan that with your biscuits? That they soften with tea? Like, is that why they're so hard to begin with? I think that's a thing. I think there's like requirements for a biscuit to be a good biscuit. That's true. And that, from what I feel like I've heard, is one of the things. <laughs> yes. That it needs to, like, have the right textures at certain times. I think Paul, from what we call the British Baking Show or British Bake Off or whatever Netflix British, wants yeah. to uh, retitle it as for us. Yeah. Um, I believe he's mentioned that. Yeah, definitely. That's where I learned it from. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All yeah. right. Rich Highland Shorty. That is this one right here. All right, here, let's just crack that one. Unless you're gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah, we'll crack this one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, right down the middle. Yeah, all right. Mm. Nice. That one has a good, good snap. Yeah, um, very mild on the flavor, at least without mm. the tea. I'm curious to know what it's like with the tea. Yeah, I like that shortbread kind of idea. It has such a good flavor. The tea is really nice with it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I almost mm. want to sip a tea with that one. Yeah, well, I'm gonna finish that one. That one's nice. Okay, what's next? Um, crunchy oat. Ooh, crunchy, crunchy oat. oat. I think that's this one here. Yeah. All right, let's break that one too. Well, it's already broken. I know, there's a chunk broken off. There's some in the, the box. Oh yeah. Woo! You can see the oat right in there. Yeah. That's nice. Mm. I love the flavor of that. Mm -hmm. I like oatmeal cookies, which is what we have here. I don't know if you have oatmeal cookies, if that's what you call them there. But this is basically the equivalent, except crunchy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not usually a huge fan of oatmeal cookies, but this is really nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like the tea is going to be really good with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different. It is different. It's it breaks down differently. Yeah, it's not what I expected, believe it or not. Yeah. Okay. So many crumbs. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is another shortcake. Ooh, good. This Excited. is the rectangular version. Yeah, I wonder the, if it's different. Well, the other one was called a Rich Highland Shorty, so I don't know if it's richer flavor. Well, yeah, I don't know. Or you remember how we had the like Scottish shortbread cookies? Yeah. Highland, I, I feel like it's Maybe more, more like of a that. Scottish version. Yeah, of. possibly. I mean, we're making things up, so yeah. we're not sure. Like always, inform us in the comments below because we like learning from you. Yeah. Okay. Was it different than the other one? Um, I would say it's less buttery. You think so? Something. I think the flavor was a little different. Maybe just Hang a on. little bit. We're gonna need to figure that out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has more of that buttery flavor or something. Hmm. Maybe. They're very similar, you know? Wow, that's hard to tell. I don't know, it might be the same exact thing. To our palates, it's very similar. Very similar. Yeah. 
Let's see what the yeah. tea does to it. Yeah, maybe that's it. Nope, mm. exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still good. Yeah, <laughs> still good. All okay. Right. <laughs> Next is the custard cream. I wonder what kind of cream it is. That's a nice cream. Mm -hmm. The biscuit, it, I think it's the biscuit itself, has a different flavor. Yeah, it reminds me of like, hold on, let's say custard cream. Mm, no, it's just that. I don't know, it's more, um, reminds me of coffee. It has like a, like an interesting roasted flavor in a way or something like that. The biscuit just mm. tastes different than like the regular like shortbread type biscuits. Yeah, in my opinion. Sure. Yeah. I'm not quite picking up what you're picking up on, but I, really, yeah, okay. It just, just tastes like a really good custard to me. But well, not the not the middle part. The custard is the cream in the middle. Right. Are you? Oh, sorry. You're talking about the biscuit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that really breaks down. Yeah, that got soft fast. Wow. I like the flavor of the cream with the tea. It really pops. Like mm -hmm. really, really pops. Yeah. Not my absolute favorite. Yeah. Just all around. This is going to be hard to actually pick a top three, I think. I'm, I'm kind of like setting some aside to like know <laughs> where I'm at. Right. Oh, we get to do a chocolate one. Yay. This bourbon is... cream. Yeah, bourbon cream. What does bourbon cream mean? Like, is it actually like, is the cream flavored with bourbon? Is this chocolate? Like, it looks like chocolate, but maybe it's a surprise and it's totally not chocolate. The only way to find out is to try it. <laughs> oh, it smells like chocolate. There's a little bit of a bourbon aftertaste. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It is really nice. Reminds me of the EL fudge cookies in a way, but with a more refined, like classy taste. <laughs> yeah, not quite as super sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. All right. Dump time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually like that one without the tea. Me too. Me too. I think the last one I didn't prefer with the tea, but this one I would really say I'd just eat without tea. I mean, without dunking. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like sipping afterwards is good. Yeah, that's true. We almost have to wash that away. Hmm. Okay. All right. What is that? This Happy is... Happy faces. <laughs> Aww. And it... Okay. That's cute. Looks like a moon. Yeah. The man on the moon. So there's like that face. And then there's like that face. There's multiple faces? Yeah, it looks like it. It's hard to tell when they're all cracked. Whoa, I got the jam in the middle. <laughs> Do you want some of that? You wanna bite them? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I gotta taste it now. It reminds me of the jam sandwich creams just in a more fun, child-loving kind of way. Yeah, I can see that. And I mean, it is the family circle package. So I could see like, oh, these are the ones that the kids would really like. And yeah, you know, maybe. That's cool. That's good. I really like that you guys put jam in stuff because of the type of jam and like the texture. It's really nice. I love that kind of gummy mm -hmm. texture. That was nice with the tea. Mm-hmm. Which I think the jam like sandwich the creams one. was the best with the tea mm -hmm. so far, in our opinion. At least my opinion. Oh, yeah. We're down to the last two. Uh huh. This. Milk. Oh, ooh, a digestive. We've heard about these so many times. <laughs> we have no clue what they are. But this is a milk chocolate digestive specifically. This digestive ooh. biscuit is what we Melt. were told is comparable to our, like, graham crackers. Yeah. So like, if you guys wanted to make s'mores, just get one of these. Try a digestive. And, oh yeah, it has the chocolate on it already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. That's the the cheater s'more. Yeah. Because we have cookies like this over here, where if we don't feel like stacking the chocolate on the graham cracker, we just buy this type thing and yeah. put the roasted marshmallow on it. Yeah, very true. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get just the biscuit. Good luck. <laughs> I, I just want some flavor. That is good. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Surprisingly. I feel like the more. tea. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I liked it with the tea. I liked it because the hot tea kind of like softened the chocolate too. So mm -hmm. it made the chocolate kind of like melty, which mm -hmm. was really nice. Yeah, that was nice. Okay. Okay. Last one. Oh, 
I'm excited about this. This looks cool. This is a milk chocolate finger. A biscuit with chocolate on the outside. Yeah. In the shape of a finger. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I love the amount of chocolate mm. that is on that. Me too. It's kind of nice in amongst all these other ones that are mostly biscuit. Mm. Okay, that is nice. Right. That is nice. So what is your top three? My top three would definitely be the jam sandwich cream. I think number one. Okay. And then I like the, just the rich Highland shorty. And then I like the finger. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I think those are mine. I think mine are the finger. Okay. And then the crunchy oat without okay. the tea. That was really close to being in my top three too. Yeah. I wasn't sure between that and the chocolate finger. So And then I like the bourbon cream. Okay. Yep, so that's yeah. that's my top three, which is this one. Yeah. Alright. That so was really fun. I loved having a variety pack. That was cool. Yeah. And now we should go ahead and rate the whole pack. Alright. That's tough. I'm not even sure where to go with that. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, seven? Yeah, seven. It's a lot of biscuits. It's nice if you just are really craving a biscuit and you want to dunk something in tea. I could totally see just being like, yeah, I'm having a craving for that. Yes. And I feel like if we wouldn't have just like sat down and ate pretty much half this, you yeah. know, package, the okay. family package mm -hmm. in one sitting, uh, we might have enjoyed the little nuances of each biscuit, yeah. more, which is what we're going to be able to do with the remaining biscuits. Yes, yes, and these will last us a little while, so that's great. Yeah. So we really enjoyed doing just strictly biscuits and cakes as a new thing, and we're going to be doing some more candy and savory crisps and all the other fun stuff, because that's what's in the remaining part of the box. Yeah, there's a lot there too, so I'm really excited to get to those, because yeah. I love savory stuff, and I think I missed it in this portion. But uh, we'll get to that soon, and I hope you enjoyed this little portion or this video. Uh, we definitely had a lot of fun. Yeah, and if you want to see more of our videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, ring the bell notification icon, and like the video if you like this one. And until next time. So long. Farewell. Namadie. Okay. How are we at it? Don't touch. <laughs> The cakes and the cakes uh, and in it were there. There we go. <laughs> Man, my nose is itching. I wonder what kind of cream it is. Yeah. I almost just dumped it. Me too. <laughs> <That's weird. gasps>